We need to understand the danger, the danger of division among God's people, brothers and sisters. That we cannot be the, divided as the body of Christ. That God has put us together to work together to be one in one body. One in one body, brothers and sisters. And that there is not two body. There is not two spirit, but one. Thank you, Lord. One. And the greater example of unity. It's God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They are the greater example of unity in the Bible. Thank you, Father. Verse 5. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Thank you, Lord. One. Not two, Lord. Not three, Lord. Not two Holy Spirit, not two faith. Many people who who preach who who teach us the pre the 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 post rapture, the mid rapture, sounds like we are of different faith. We believe in the pre rapture. They believe in the middle and the after. But there's one thing Jesus explained to me that helped me to get along with these people and love them. Don't criticize people. Because they believe in the mid or post rapture. Don't think that they are not of God. As one time Jesus took me to the throne last year, he reminded me that even though they believe in the mid or post rapture, Jesus reminded me one thing they are still my sons and my daughter. Brothers and sisters, we need to love. Not just our brothers and sisters, but Yeshua, Jesus. Shalom, Brother Anthony. But our even our enemy, we are supposed to love them, brothers and sisters. We are supposed to love them. Love them. And you know what love, loving someone means? When you love someone, you don't come against that person. Help us, God. Verse 6. One God... And Father of all, which is above all, and through all, and in you all. Oh, thank you, Lord. This is so powerful here. He is in in us all. The Father is in us all. Through the person of the Holy Spirit. And so, Father God gave us the example of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Unity. They're one. And so God wants his body, the body of Christ, to be one. Now, the Lord told me that those people that believe in the myth and and post rapture are his sons and daughters. He is going to deal with them in the tribulation. Okay? They will come to the understanding that the Bible only spoke about pre-rapture or point to pre-rapture. He comes in the mid, in the in the in the midnight hour to take his bride home. Matthew twenty five. When someone tells you that there is no rapture in the Bible, tell them, okay, the word rapture is not biblical, but the word cut off in the air, yes. But then give them the example of the wedding of Christ in Matthew twenty five. The, t- the parable of the ten virgin. Someone was telling me that a rabbi was saying that uh, what is being said about the rapture and in the, in, in the wedding of the bride, it is not a Jewish tradition. Now I would say, are you going to believe Rabbi Jesus or the rabbi of the world? Are you going to believe the Son of God or anybody else? I think I prefer to believe Jesus. I stand on the word. I believe the Lord. I stand on his word. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Don't let anyone move you from your faith. That's one thing Paul taught the churches. Believe the Lord. Believe his word. In my father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. John 14. 
There are many mansions prepared for you. I go prepare a mansion, a place, he said. He is for you. He is for you. He's not against you. He is for you. 